G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're taking a look at the 3FUL Gears Kidian Pro Backpack. Now it's the upgraded version of the old Kidian. The material's been changed to make it lighter and stronger. So let's go have a look. So like I said, the material's changed. What they're using now, they say it's a blend of the UHMWPE and nylon uh, 210T I believe, I'm not 100% sure but then on another point it says it's constructed out of the UHMWPE material and without mentioning the nylon so what the UHWMPE material is if you don't know is the actual name of Dyneema it's, as far as I can tell I'm researching it, it's the same uh, thing and different companies use different names for it. So we've got Dyneema in here for the strength to give it a lightweight and waterproof as well they say it is. Now it's not going to be waterproof as in dunking it in a pool of water and everything being dry inside because you've got points where your hydration uh, bladder hose comes out, uh, you've got oil where your stitching is. So it's not waterproof as in yeah you can dunk it in the water and leave it there it's I'd say it's heavy rainproof so gives you an idea about the material let's undo the top strap to show you now roll top now the advantage of this is you can roll it down and you can carry more or less and it's not going to affect your actual pack so you don't need to buy a pack for 40 litres, another pack for 55 litres. And what people were calling this before, or the old kid in, they were calling it the 46 plus 10 to give you the 56 litres. But now they say the actual internal measurements is 56 litres. They're not saying it's a 40 plus 16 or 46 plus 10. It's just the actual word in they use, I've got it down, internal volume 56 litres. That's it. So you can carry 40 litres, you can adjust it and carry 56 litres. And adjusting it to the 56 litres is simple. Undo the buckles on the side and just roll this up. So there, I'd say top of the straps, that's going to be about your 40 litres. And then you've got about another 16 litres here and then still able to roll it over two or three times and then we connect it down on your strap on the side now if you wanted to I've seen people use this strap as another compression strap so they've adjusted that taken it around and connected it to the other side here you can also when you do that is just roll this down and click it that way the thing I don't like about that if you're walking and you're going under the branches a lot higher chance of that getting caught or snagged on a branch so it's one of the things where you're going to have to pack it uh, right to give you more room and use these side ones because then it's actually going to give you a clean top and that's going to pull them in at the side and less chance of catching on anything as you're walking through. Inside, like I said, it's 56 litres. Not much in there. Let's unroll all this. Let the cook it out. Now, from this point here, You've got your strut and buckle to hold your hydration and the hydration port comes out of the side here and I believe it's on the other side also so you've got an option let's have a look yep yeah, we've got a second one on this side so you can bring your hydro uh, hydration tube out of there from your water bladder and one single pocket and that's it now that's the ground sheet which uses up half the space in its internal pocket 
to the uh, Lanshan um, 2. So I'll give you an idea. So you can probably fit two, and two, maybe two and a half of them in there comfortably. And all the rest from that point is just one single tube of the pack. So there's no external zips. There's no sleeping bag compartment at the bottom either. It's just one tube, simple. But you are going to have to learn how to pack this so it's comfortable with it being frameless. But like I said, I can take this out over here. Let's do that back up. Let's do that strap up first, make it tidy, get it all out of the way. So here's the back of it. So it's just the thickness of the material between you and what you've got inside your pack. So the way I've got it packed at the moment, I've got, um, what's there? That's actually the Lanshan 2 tent I've got in the bottom, which gives me the uh, back here. This sits in the uh, lower part of my back, which makes it comfortable. Then I've got my sleeping um, quilt in this one at the moment, the quilt and other bits and bobs. But all this, I've got padded. And like I said, my waist is about 32, 34 inches. So I, I can get away with doing this and I've got about half an inch left on each uh, side of the strap here from tensioning it all the way up. Any slimmer I'd have to have something in here. Now these side pockets here, you've got one on either side, both just mirror image to the left side from the right. I've got a cord lock here, or line lock, whatever you want to call it, which is holding a bungee and it's looking about the three millimeters thick so you can just cinch up the top of your side pocket so to keep things secure in there the bigger ones and this here is the chair zero from Helenox and I still have plenty of room in that pocket to put more things in there like my tent poles or anything like that compression straps Again, it's identical to the other side. We've got one here and another one at the top. So nice and small, very easy to use. Same here, you can adjust it, do it up. And we've got a buckle on each of them, so it's easy to release. Nice and easy. Again, plenty of room in there. I need to squash around or mess about trying to get things in. Then the shoulder strap comes into the pocket here. So you do have an opening. So it's not secure for you to put small things in there. Ideal for if you've got a bag or you put all your ditty bits in the, uh, the ditty bag. So it's not going to fall out because you've got your bag inside. Or your water bottle. No water bottle fit into there. And it won't fall out, not unless you've got a really tiny silly one, which I don't think exists. But it sits in here nice and easy, plenty of room. Now like I said it's the same on the opposite side. And again, there's the compression strap. The line lock holding the bungee. And that's a one litre canteen. And you can see, pick up plenty of room my hand in there so again I can put tent poles down there or even my camera tripod the hip belt now reading the website they say it's 1.5 centimeters deep and then that's beside that they say it's one inch 
Well, I think I got it uh, a little bit off. Thinking there, we, we're looking at probably it's holding it there. That's three quarters of an inch, say twenty centimeters, uh, twenty millimeters, two centimeters. It feels like and looks like. And it's got a high density foam in it. Which once you get used to wearing it, it actually starts to shape with your hips. Side pocket. Now I've got a 20,000 milliampere battery charger and that'll fit in there nice and easy. I've heard people say, oh no, they're not big enough, blah, blah, blah. They're not really there to carry all your big stuff. It's just your stuff you need to get hold of, like your, your treats and that, or like me with my camera bits, my batteries will go in there. And phone fits in there nice and easy and it's a Samsung, I don't know what it is, a 23 or 32, whatever you call it. Same size as the old Note 9. And I've got no trouble fitting it in there. There's zippers. Then I've got the discard ones. And they are YKK branded. So, I like that. And they've got the same on the other hip belt. So, Plenty of room for the little bits that you need to go in there. Hip belt. Like I said, it's high density foam. They've got this mesh on the inside to try and reduce the amount of perspiration. Buckles. Nice and easy to use. And I do like these ones because they're not the ones you pull back. You can actually leave it by pulling these ones forward. So I do like them. Shoulder straps. I shape them with a nice S shape. And it's call it an upgrade from the old Kidan, uh, Kidian. So yeah, the, the, these shoulder straps, they're more like the 12, 15 millimeters thick. Uh, we've got all the adjusters on it down here. Easy to use. Wearing it, it feels fairly comfortable. We've got your sternum strap here. <laughs> it's quite a long one, so that's going to fit most of us. And on the sternum strap, we've got a little emergency whistle. So, high pitch. Easy again, the buckles. And now you can see the uh, Nemo switchback pad in the back there. Move these out of the way. And here I've got the Nemo switchback. A mesh pocket at the bottom. And a strap coming over to a loop and back down to hold it in place. This is the actual framework to your pack. That's going to give it the actual structure. The hip belt they say starts at around 28 inches. And that's with uh, this in it. If you've got smaller than a 28 inch uh, waist, even with this, the pit belt isn't going to be tight on you. Now, I'm lucky, I've got about a 32, 34 inch waist, and I can wear this pack without the uh, Nemo switch back in it to give it structure. Now, as you can see, that's a good few inches there. And that's what allows you to have the 28 inch waist with wearing this belt and having it cinched up. Like I said, anything smaller with this in, it's not going to work with you. Now, like I said, if you've got a bigger waist, like mine around the 32, 34, you can get away with taking this out and still cinch the belt up and have the hip belts snug on your hips, holding it all in place. That's what you've got that here. Like I said, shoulder straps come through and they're connected to the main body of the backpack in where the actual side pockets are. We've got straps at the top, give it a good torque. The load lifters and that you can adjust there to make it more and more comfortable. 
here see on both sides on the top to scrub all this We've got a little bell handle so it's easy to grab when you're going out and doing things Uh, well, like I said, we've got the stern on strap. We've got a loop coming across here, so you can use a carabiner to attach anything you want. On the front or the back, whatever you want to call it, we have a mesh pocket. Now, it's not a stretchy mesh, but it's a decent size to get things in there. So you could put your raincoat in there or your wet fly if you tent. And you can see I've got a green bungee here. They provided it with a small black one, thin, let's say it's about two mil, two and a half mil bungee. But cutting the uh, length of it down to make them long enough to comfortably put my poles in, to attach my poles to it on each corner here. There wasn't enough left to thread through this part here or if you can hold your cycle helmet or whatever you want to when it's fully undone it was something like that so it was always cinched up at the top so i replaced it with this bungee and just allowed myself more so that's not restricting me getting stuff in there so there's your options you've got a mesh pocket to put stuff in if you want to or you could even just hang your jacket in there or the fly off your tent to dry as you're walking. On the top, we've got this strap which comes from just the top of the pocket here. Again, easy to use, easy to adjust. Y shape, got single coming to a double one coming over to here, and that goes to roughly where your carrier handle is. And that's if you want to carry anything on the top here, like your sleeping bag, or even if you've got a larger waist like me, the actual switchback, you could put that up there too. Coming back to the sides, it is a roll top pack. We've got a side attachment buckle there, so when you roll it up, you can click it in. Plenty of strap there, so when you're get more and more when you pack the higher it is you're still going to be able to use these side straps again there so it's going to give you a nice clean surface at the top so there's going to be nothing in the way to get caught on branches as you're going through without having the pad at the back to create a frame if i wanted to carry that i could just put that on the top here bring my strap over so up, give it a tug, I can carry that on top. So there's not much more to this pack. At the moment, I like it. <coughs> I'm going to be using it over the next couple of weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've got some gear to go out and test. Uh, I've got another section of the Bibbulmun track I want to go and do, which is uh, three to five days of walking so i'll do an upgrade or an update should i say after i've done that so i hope you've enjoyed the video and you got some uh, thing out of it and if you're not already a subscriber please think about going down below and clicking on that subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all and that way you'll be notified of all future videos coming up and click the thumbs button the like button and if you are already as a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.